What's up Sanders? Hey, welcome to my garage and today we're doing a little install on this thing right here. I just got in the mail a brand new bumper from Assault Industries. So stay tuned and we're going to get this thing installed and see how good it looks. Ready to ram some stuff. Woo! So along with this, we got the bumper overall construction of this thing seems pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on it. Um, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. It wasn't exactly the most expensive bumper in the world. And, um, you know, it's, you can't really expect much these days unless you're talking to a fabricator or you're building it yourself or whatever it is. This is a quick little bolt on bumper just to kind of get away from the stock features. And I've been, jumping this thing and, and and we've already got some some damage to the front so you know this is definitely going to help you know push the rocks out of the way and you know protect it a little bit more you gotta protect this bad boy right all right guys well overall construction of this thing seems to be pretty good uh, I'm, I'm stoked on it so it comes with uh not only comes with the the bumper itself you got yourself a skid plate you got some ends some bar ends that go on the right here after you you're done installing it we got some screws to put on here some washers what you're going to need is a t40 and that's to take off all the uh fascia stuff and a 15 millimeter wrench pretty dang easy quick easy bolt on probably gonna take me 10 minutes honestly all right you're gonna take your t40 i've already loosened these up a little bit so we're going to pull these bolts off. Set this aside. I've already loosened these up a little bit just to make the video a little bit faster. Take that off. There's also two more on the side here. there should pop right off there you go and then you're gonna get your you pull these four bolts off right here which stock bumper off. I guess there's some plastic clips in here. On top of these four bolts, I didn't even realize it, but there's two little plastic clips that are right in here. They're just like the push style clips. Make sure you pull those off too. So you use a flathead screwdriver or if you can something else that'll be easier. A flathead screwdriver works good for me take this thing toss it you don't need it anymore all right now that we got this thing back on here now it's time to install this bad boy right here so we're gonna do use those stock mounting points and grab Bolt. It's always good to um, hand tighten everything before you start you get into, you know, an impact or anything like that because you don't want to strip these bolts so always put them in there by hand first make sure all these 
point up. Sweet. Now let's get these things all tightened up and get this thing on. Stoked. I didn't realize it, but I can't really get back in there if I'm using impact. So I grab an extension, get that in there. Don't go tight because you don't want to you make sure it goes on nice and tight. And I also didn't realize that you're not going to be able to access these as easy. So it's always good to have a ratchet mesh. go all right guys now that we've got this thing on there nice and tight it's time to put this on there and what you're gonna do like anything else you do on your car is you're going to add a little dab of uh, Loctite just because this thing's going down the road hitting rocks bumps and things that vibrate you don't want it to vibrate loose so get this thing in there kind of go around and make sure that everything's on there tight. There you go. All right guys, that simple. So easy to install this thing. It is beyond sturdy. Um, I'm pretty stoked on it. One thing I do wish is I wish it came down a little bit lower. I wish it came down a little bit lower right here to protect this, but it doesn't. It's more or less like a light bar than anything else. I mean, it's gonna be able, I'm gonna be able to hit some stuff, but you know, I really wanna protect that differential. So I might have to, you know, do something else. Um, so far, I do like it. It's gonna hold me over. It's gonna, I'm gonna put some Baja Designs um, amber lights in here and um, I should do the trick. But uh, other than that, pretty stoked. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. This this uh, bumper was pretty easy to install, I have to say. They make it really easy to just bolt it on really quick. Um, it's a quick solution to adding a little bumper or light bar onto your razor, protect you a little bit from hitting stuff. And if you guys are wondering, no, you do not need to jack this thing up. I just did because I got a package in the mail today that I'm really stoked about. And uh, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek right there. Oh man. That's right guys, shock therapy. Coils are going on this thing next. Not gonna be in this video. Stay tuned guys. I wanna put some shock therapy springs on here. We're gonna watch this thing transform. All right guys, as always, if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it. And as always, keep on sending. Ooh.